Ladies and gentlemen, I must be in a nightmare because it's that coral freaking castle right now in chapter three. The reality tree has sprouted coral castle in place of butter barn. I thought we were done with coral castle. Clearly Epic is trying to kill me out here. Coral in the flesh in the chapter three map in the desert it just looks so out of place. So apparently we got coral and then some games you'll find the Coliseum here, which we already saw before, but now it's back. And then some games will find Neo tilted actually. Oh God. Neo Tilted is one of the potential spawns that you can get here. It's kind of crazy. Neo Tilted. I haven't seen that since chapter one. So it's this is kind of it's kind of cool. It's kind of scary though, like seeing coral. Do I hear any coral music? No, no coral music, right? Oh, but you know what I do here? I I hear some chainsaws, and it's chainsaw week. You know what that means? That means chainsaws are spawning everywhere, like floor loot, chest loot. You can get chainsaws out of out of anywhere now. Expect to see a lot of more, a lot more chainsaws because I think before you could only get them out in the north, like in this like barn over here. So they were kind of rare to find. Now they're not too rare to find. Now you can like find them everywhere. They're, they're honestly like not a bad gun. They're pretty like specific to the situation, but they're not, they're not bad. Now they're really, you know, going to be available. So it'll be interesting to see how that switches things up. Cause I honestly, I've been playing for the past week. I haven't seen a single chainsaw since the first day they came out. I think, I think Epic wants people to actually use it considering they probably spent a lot of time making it. Okay. So we also got a new gun, not really new. It's a reskin flare gun, I guess for the 4th of July. It works exactly like the flare gun does, but it shoots fireworks instead of a flare. So kind of the same thing. I just heard someone shoot it right now. Yeah, this person has it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go say what's up to them. And if you guys forgot what the flare gun does, it basically scans the area for players. And if there are players, it will uh, notify you that they're there. I I'm pretty sure there's no one here. I think people, there's, there's people in Rocky Reels, so I'm gonna go and flare Rocky Reels. This is this is kind of interesting for zero build. I wonder if it's gonna stay in the zero build competitions because you see the amount of like bushes that people camp in in zero build. Like people are gonna be using the flare guns. Like it it's actually meta for zero build, uh, high level zero build. So even though it's a reskin, it's just coming back for a short period of time it is gonna shake things up in my opinion by the way chat if you guys haven't noticed i'm rocking the new metal umbrella right now from the fourth collection shout out to all these amazing people who bought some metal umbrella and messaged me on twitter or instagram appreciate you guys showing support this is my clothing brand that i launched a year ago and we just dropped the fourth collection so i'm gonna quickly scan up here because there's a guy up here look at that and look i did scan somebody somebody creeping Come on, brother. Another one of these. You can run, but you can't hide. I'm most definitely. Oh, no, 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 no. As you can see, the flare gun, very useful for players who like to camp in little bushes. Got him. I thought this was a person. Man cake just finessed me. But yeah, flare gun's back. It is a reskin. It's honestly pretty useful. If you like hate bush campers, because bush camping is really strong zero build, this is going to come in super, super duper clutch. If you hear someone in a bush, or if you think someone's in a bush, you have a flare on your team and you're you're chilling. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that change. It's like, that's like, like a good gun to come back for zero build. I'll take it. I'll take it. By the way, we got some more, some more very interesting leaks. Okay. So Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Epic actually Oh. I think the frick not, dude. No, boom in your face, buddy. <laughs> this man pulled up with the freaking battle bus thinking he was about to do something. The CEO of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney, he actually talked about Creative 2.0, which is going to be like one of the biggest updates in Fortnite history. We talk about it a lot on this channel. He basically said Cre Creative 2.0, most likely later this year. Um, Not soon, though. So he said not soon, but later this year. What does that mean? Well, here's the thing. No, you're not going to rift, man. Come on. Creative came out December 6, 2018. So maybe Creative 2.0 is scheduled to be during the anniversary of 
the first creative. I feel like that's not a bad, not a bad theory. What do you guys think? Epic likes to do things on anniversaries. Like they brought Tilted Towers back on its anniversary. It wouldn't be out of the ordinary for them to do something big for the four year creative anniversary. And unlike Creative 1.0, Creative 2.0 is not going to increase the skill level of all the players dramatically. Like when Creative came out, everyone started cranking and getting really sweaty. Creative 2.0 is, is going to do the opposite. It's going to create unique experiences for people to have fun and enjoy themselves and play different kinds of Fortnite supported by Unreal Engine. So it's like, it's actually pretty exciting for the grand scheme of things. It's, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be the biggest update Fortnite has ever gotten. And speaking of updates, we just got leaks about next week's update, right? It's scheduled for next Tuesday. There's a lot to expect, but apparently there's some sort of new POI called the tower that's coming to the game. It's going to replace this little area right here, the ruins right here. It's an unnamed POI, but it's going to be called the tower and it's going to replace this area right here. So definitely excited for a mid season, like new POI update. Those always go over pretty well. And I'm pretty sure it's bringing maybe a new weapon or some sort of new mythic. There's a lot of items that are kind of like in the game files that could potentially be brought into the game but we'll see we'll see when these things actually get added you don't think it's like the spire tower right like the old spire tower from way back so there is reality loot at the sanctuary as well so the sanctuary is probably going to change honestly by the end of the season every poi is probably going to have like a pretty big change to it because of the reality tree Oh, that dude pulled out of his car to shoot me? Ain't no way, buddy! Oh my god. What in the aimbot was that, lady? He pulled out an SMG and nearly took me out. And by the way, I heard in the item shop, a very uh, specific skin is now back in the item shop. She goes by Chun-Li. And if you're not using creator code Cypher PK when purchasing Chun-Li from the item shop, like, what are you doing? A little, a little worried here. This, this terrain. I'm not too familiar with this terrain, man. My brother, what are we doing in the tree? What kind of angles are we working with here, buddy? GG, brother. GG. Best of luck with your Facebook. What is that person shooting? What is he? What's going on here right now? What was up with all the trees falling? Oh. Is there a man behind that log? Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We're almost at 6 million subscribers. Thank you so much for watching.